Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we will do exercise number two. This is a diagram for exercise number two and let's get back to SOLIDWORKS and let's click on the sketch as we have done before. Let's select a plane. In this case, I will go for front plane. Click on the front plane and the plane will come normal to the screen. Now let's take the line tool and let's do a simple sketch. As we look at the diagram, we'll see that there is a cutting over here, which we are going to do in some time. So 33, 50, 18, 12, 12. This is 18 and that's it. Now let's exit the sketch and rotate the drawing a little bit and then go for features extrude. In the extrude we need to give uh, a 40 so in this case we can also give 20 and go for direction number 2 and give another 20. So that'll do the trick and click on the tick button and that completes that particular action. Now we need to place, uh, for example, if we imagine this as a cake and if we had to do a cutting just like this, what we would do? We would place our knife here at this particular point and we will, uh, we will chop it towards this direction, right? So these are the three points and we need a surface or a plane to cut that, right? Just like how a knife will cut through it. So we will create a point over here and we'll place a plane. So in this video, we are learning something new that's to create a new plane. And uh, a plane with respect to three points. So let's select this particular line here and go for insert um, reference geometry and you have something called as point here and uh, I can give distance and you can check how much it's 6 mm so you can always give 6 and you have a point being created there the point is here now let's go back to insert reference geometry and create a plane and then go over here and select this as a first point and this point as a second 
and this one is the third point and click on the tick mark and that creates a plane over there now the next thing to do is to um, slash the solid with respect to this plane so that can be done by the option split so that would be available again you have to go to insert you have something called a split over here in the features and you select that and go for cut part and here you can tick one of them and consume cut bodies and click on tick mark and that part will be consumed and we'll have the res uh, desired result if in your case that the other part is getting consumed you can always go for right click over here go for edit feature and then you drag it a little downwards and select this tick mark and put the tick on the other side and you can see that this particular part will be consumed so you can do vice versa and try it out and if you have uh, not selected the consume part body then it will be like two parts will be there but there will be a slice it's just like you're keeping uh, your sliced cake on the same place you're not taking it off so that's about uh, split and creation of new plane with the example so I hope you enjoyed this particular video and if you have any doubt on this you can always comment below the video or you can write to me at ketia.prodotuser at gmail.com and that's all for this video stay tuned for the next exercise thank you